Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Blake of ASD, a.k.a. Skyler, driving the building! Okay. Woo Dude, life has been crazy for you since the last time we talked. Well, I saw you at the whiskey. We hung out there for a little bit. But but basically, since that day, you guys have been hustling. You guys have been working, flying all, all over the place. First, how was Blue Ridge? Yeah, that shit was crazy. Tell me, tell me about, about Blue was, Ridge. Uh, I'm sorry. I was, I was gonna say, just tell me, just tell me about the the experience itself. I know that was one that you guys were kind of like really looking forward to. Yeah, it was definitely like ten times bigger than the biggest show I've ever played. So that was cool, and I was sober, so I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Even <laughs> even after even after the gig, there was no beers involved. Just just enjoying life. So. Good for you, Just dude. Just a little bit of that California sober. Oh, okay, I got you. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. How's uh, how's the rest of yeah. the band? How's the rest of the band doing? They're doing good. I'm uh, I'm staying at Corey's house right now, but he's actually back in Oklahoma for like the next week or two. Cool. Very cool. Uh, I think so, when we when we briefly talked at at the whiskey, um. There was some talks of some possible new recordings going down with with Nick, some tracking, some stuff like yeah. that. Are we allowed to discuss any of that stuff? Yeah, we've been working on that for a cool minute now. We're just uh, gonna start tracking vocals like here pretty soon. But there's a lot of music now. Does that is that something that goes? through Nick and then possibly to to Kit or is Nick in control of the whole thing himself as far as the final product goes? Um, I think Nick's doing everything right now. Hell yeah, very cool. Uh, it's pretty cool. We we uh were you there for for all the the tracking when it comes to, like the drums and guitars or is that just stuff that they carried over from like practices left over? Um like the new stuff or the old stuff? The newer stuff. Um, I've been there when they track a little bit, but um, Nick does a lot of the writing, and then uh, Corey will come in and do drums, and then I'll do vocals. Hell yeah! So we were we were just hanging out with uh, Matt and Evan of uh, Across the White Water Tower. How how are you familiar with those guys? And while while you're answering real quick, right before you jumped in, the Wheel of Punishment landed on. A shoey, so I have to take a shoe I do not wear. Don't worry, I don't wear it. I have to take a shoe, pour beer into it, and then put fruity pebbles syrup also into the beer into the shoe. Now knowing that, how do you know across the white water tower? That just blew my mind. Um, we played with them in uh, Farmingdale, New Jersey. They were a very cool band. They were super uh, inviting. Like right when we pulled up. I went up and under a tree and smoked some weed with the singer Matt for about four hours, and that was cool. And oh my God, you just did that! Yo, that was fire! <laughs> that was fire! I would, I would do that again. <laughs> I would do that again. Believe it or not. <laughs> Let's Out of see. The shoe though. Yeah, well, I don't wear the shoe. It's a. It's so the shoey came from. Here, I'll show you. The shoey came from. Uh, we had these guys on the show probably like a year ago called Lagerstein. They're out of uh, Australia, and they were like, "Oh, one of our things we do during the show is we make everyone take their shoe off in the audience, and we say, hey, if you're drinking right now, take your shoe off, pour your beer in your shoe.' They do it too on stage, and it's like become a thing. Check it out. So they're they're basically like a pirate bass band, uh, but they're they're a kick ass good time for sure. Since since uh the ASD stuff, which I'm sure is kind of still odd and you're kind of getting used to it calling it ASD, but it is there has any and you may not be able to answer this question, but has any labels or, or certain higher ups reached out and said, Can we talk to you guys? Can we talk deals? Can we talk this? Can we talk that? I think everyone that's emailed us hasn't been replied to because we're still dealing with uh, 
legal shit. And I think we just want to get that out of the way before we move forward with any other contracts and stuff. For sure. So it's not completed, even though you've said, okay, we accept ASD as the new name. Jag gets the, the, the original name. That's not the conclusion of the legal stuff, which I know we can't really talk about for legal reasons, but there's more yeah, to it. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, we just have a lot of shows booked that we're going to play, and we have to have a name for it. So, I mean, I save all that shit for everybody else. I don't – it's – it's been way too fucking long. It should be over by now, I would think. Yeah. But um, it's whatever. It's been cool to play all the shows. And, uh, you know, she Watch the Sky is why we're touring. So, I mean, if that's on flyers and ASD's on flyers, I think it says enough. It is confusing, though, because even I saw Skylet drive on a flyer today, and I was like, oh, shit, I didn't know I was playing a show with Alice Santa. That's weird, <laughs> but apparently I'm not. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know if they have played any shows yet with the new lineup, but I'm sure a lot of fans will either be happy or disappointed. You know, not to say one or the other, but I'm sure it is going to cause confusion. But it, unfortunately, it just kind of is what it is. But uh, Jordan, are you are you willing to take some fan questions? I got a lot of fans in chat right now. Um, that I've got some questions. Sure. If it's okay with you, I'm going to ask that they call in to my phone via Instagram. They will not be on camera. I'm just going to hold my phone up right here and, and just uh, let somebody rattle off a question to you if that's cool. So if you're watching, go on Instagram at local band smokeout, hit the contact button, call right now, and uh, we'll we'll let you ask a question to Jordan. After, after uh, well, what, what do you guys have lined up the rest of the rest of the year? that you're allowed to tell us about? Is it just solely focusing on the shows? I know you said that vocal tracking is coming up. Is there like a mapped out time frame of when that starts? Um, I think we're going to try to do some this weekend because we have a little bit of time. I think we have three weeks off right now. And then we have uh, Las Vegas and then San Diego and then Seattle, Portland, and then Roseville. And I think that's all we have for the rest of the year. Do you know off the top of your head when you guys are playing San Diego? Mm, it's after, is it after, second? it's after Hungry? Or yeah, I think it's the next day. So that would be October 22nd. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Damn it, I will not be able to make that one. I was just seeing if I could figure something out to, to attend that one, but uh, I'm not allowed to go to Hungry Fest because of reasons that my, my wife's sister's wedding is the weekend after and she's concerned that I could get into some trouble in Vegas. <laughs> so I, I won't make it to that one, unfortunately. Yeah, that's always a great possibility. It's Vegas does that to you. It happens. It does happen. Um, if, if anyone wants to call in and ask a question of Jordan, just go through Instagram and do it. But um, let's see. I've, I feel like I've asked you 10,000 questions before, so I'm trying to think of stuff that we haven't discussed. Let's see. Is there... Is there uh, are you still doing collabs? I know that Full Frontal Lobotomy out of Australia wanted me to ask uh, if the if the track with them is uh, in the work still. Yeah, um, he's pretty much the only one I've touched bases with, but um, I got my stuff set up, and so I should start being able to do it soon. Cool. What um, I have it all here at Corey's house, so... Um, so I went to rehab in Hollywood and then I pretty much like gave up all my shit. I didn't go back to it, but I got my recording stuff. So, okay. I start doing that. Cool. Uh, is there, is there any, uh, if someone wanted to hire you to, to get you on a track, how would they go about doing that? Uh, probably Instagram. So just, just DM you through Instagram to, to work it and set up the payments and all that stuff. Cool. Hell yeah. Uh, yep. Will, th Will, there still would be a delay just because you can't hear Jordan's response. So if you guys call in, I'll just be like, hey, he can hear you. Just shoot off the question and then I'll I'll, I'll hang up and that'll be that. But uh, let's see. Uh, dude, I, I remember the time before the last time there was a crazy fire involved in your life, uh, which was very misunfortunate. Uh, have Has most of the stuff been recovered or recouped that you lost or is that just kind of unfortunately just gone 
I kind of just started over, just started getting new stuff. Because I am in California now, so I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't thought about it in a while. Like, kind of sucks though. Like, um, having to start over, but it was good in a sense. So, what what table of element do you have right here on your eye? You've had, on the other side. You have a like a periodic table. This one. Yeah. What is that? What is that right there? Uh, it's dopamine. Dopamine. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. I, I, I think thought, Will. I thought it would make me laugh. <laughs> what's that? What's the other one mean right here? The the on the opposite side. Um. This is a pagan symbol for healing. Cool. Very cool. Uh, I'm waiting yeah, for for I Will. Need more. I'm waiting for Will to call in, but he has not called in yet. Let's see. Uh, do you want to review a couple bands with me while we're just chilling? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's jam something. Let's see what this is about. This is a Null Valley. Thought is a virus. What are you What are you jamming in your personal time right now? Just some of your favorite artists that you're spinning through Spotify or whatever. Um, Lorna Shore. They dropped a new song today. I've not heard it yet. I'm I'm gonna check it out later. And uh, Dayseeker. Dayseeker. Interesting story about Dayseeker. Lots oh, of people well, have said no. There's yeah. a bunch of other artists that will appreciate it. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see, Jordan. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff. We've talked so many times. I'm trying to think of stuff that we haven't talked about. <laughs> Um, did, when you, when you guys played with, uh, with White Tower, did, uh, did they jump on and, and help out with vocals in any tracks? So I know like everyone knows yeah, that she watched the Sky EP, like the back of their hand. So it's, it's pretty easy. Just no matter what city you're in, you're like, dude, I know every word to that song. Let me jump on. Yeah. Matt came up, uh, did some vocals. It was pretty cool. Uh, Chad, <laughs> Ch Chad wants her to know, uh, how did the It's Jordan Blake song with Etienne start and whose idea was it? Etienne Sin, I think is the name of the band. Probably probably Etienne's idea. He was into a lot of hip hop. Do you did you guys ever get to perform that one? Um, no. We didn't perform any of the songs. We did a lot though. Hell yeah. That's cool. What movies we even are you have like I think there's like 15 songs we just never put out. Dang, you just did a, like you, a, a you 15 two. together? Yeah, we did like a full length that we never released. Why did it never come out? Out of curiosity. Um I think both of us were just going in different directions and it was a lot of songs and a lot of content, so I think it would have just taken away from the new direction that I know he was trying to go. For sure. I don't think I've heard anything from him since then. Um, so I'm not sure whatever happened to that fellow, but that's cool. I mean, anyway. Yeah, he changed his name to uh, Young Rockstar. Young Rockstar, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, well, have you seen any good movies lately? And maybe one that stood out, like a movie that you that you're like, dude, you gotta see this movie. Um, I started watching Sabrina on Netflix. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, for sure. With the talking cat, the Sabrina with the talking cat. Yep. Okay. What? It's like a more morbid version of it, but it's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a it's a remake. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's a remake. Yeah. Okay, I have not seen any of those, but uh, I'll check. Because all the people that were in the original, they're probably like fifty, probably old now. Give me, give me. I was uh, wonder what. You go, you go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You go, you go. Out of all the the new shows, I'm sure there was a couple of technical technical difficulties that happen every now and then. Tell me like a funny story where somebody in the band's panicking because something's going wrong right before you're about to go on stage. 
Um, shit, almost every show. <laughs> okay, like we, I'll like start like talk, say that this song's next, and then everyone's like yelling at me, like, "No, that's not next." I'm like, "Oh, shit." No. Well, never mind. I think I you did that the whiskey. Song. I think you did that the whiskey actually. I I remember you doing yeah. that. That is funny. I think I do it almost every show, and then like it, almost all the songs start off with the with a count in, and I'm like not sure which one it is till it's too late. But <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to remember. But we're getting the dust off. We're getting the dust off the old jams for sure. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Is there Definitely. is there a uh, particular place? in the future that you would like the band specifically to tour maybe when it's time to debut some of the new stuff and there is a backing of some kind um is there a particular country that you that you want to go back to with the, with the fellows i would definitely like to go to japan uh i got to go there with watch out there's ghost and then skylet drive went like shortly after but we haven't gone together and we really want to so hopefully that could happen next year. Do you ever have the ability to play any any of the ghost tracks on like a? I know you do every now and then like an emo night or something like that. Do you work in the ghost tracks on those nights? Um, if people ask for them, yeah, for sure. That's cool. I'm sure it's got to be fun to just jam because you've done, you've been in a lot of projects, man. You were in I don't remember the name, but you were in something after Ghosts. Before ASD came back, what was the project you were in after Ghost? Um, I did Trances and then Speak of the Devil. Speak of the Devil. That's what I'm trying to think. Of. Speak of the Devil. Hell yeah. Do you ever get to play um, those ones too on, on those nights? Or is that something that's kind of like ultra rare to play those? Um, Sometimes the DJs do. I don't ever usually play them, but... um. Sometimes they've been dropped, and I'm like, "Oh shit, I forgot about this song." <laughs> well, while doing the the She Watched the Sky tour, give me a particular fun fan moment where someone's just like, "Bro, you don't understand this album. This album changed me. It it made me who I am." Is there is there a fun story that a fan, an interaction with a fan that kind of was very memorable to you in recent memory? Um. Yeah, South by So What, I went and sat in the bleachers, like, by myself, and was just trying to process everything, and uh, someone that had watched the set had came and sat with me and talked with me for, like, an hour, and it was pretty cool, because uh, my fiancé had just passed, like, the week before that, so I was still going through it, and uh, it was really cool. She... Uh, I think, don't think she was familiar with the music beforehand. She just happened to be um, watching. So that was really cool to be able to talk with somebody for like an hour. And in the middle of everybody, that show was pretty big too. All the shows we've done this year have been bigger than like anything else I've done. I mean, I've never done like the festivals before. So they're cool. You could walk around and there's literally thousands of people to talk to. That's awesome. That is very cool. And uh that's cool that you, you know, inspired her someone that one of the one of the new youngins I imagine that uh maybe wasn't so familiar with you but your set just blew their mind to the point where they just felt captivated that they had to talk to you and just tell you, you know, you're awesome, you're a great guy and uh that's cool. How uh uh yeah, it's crazy oh. that people do that. <laughs> I still think it's crazy every time somebody says something like that. It it's so true though. Like th this this EP it was so impactful to millions of people. It's it's crazy, but at the same time, like you have written something that changed people's lives, man. That's just got to feel incredible. And I I imagine that the follow up to it, which is in the works, will have a similar impact because you guys are taking your time. You're being patient about it. You're not letting anyone dictate what has to go and what what does as far as the the writing recording the band is involved in the recordings themselves as far as nick being the producer so i'm sure it's going to be pretty damn amazing 
yeah, I'm pretty excited to to put out new music. I think it sounds a lot like the old stuff. It, it, it kind of trips me out, like how much it sounds like the old stuff. Is there is there any plans to have any? You don't have to reveal them, but is there any plans to have any guest features on? I'm just gonna tentatively call it. She watched the sky part two. Um, I have no idea. I haven't asked anybody, but there's a couple people I want to ask. We can't have any leaks though. Okay, no. We'll get, we'll, we're not gonna pull them out of <laughs> pull them out of them today. <laughs> what do you What do you got planned the rest of your day, Jordan? I know you're a super busy guy. Um, shit, just working on music, chilling. Hell yeah, very cool. Well, dude, uh, I appreciate you stopping in. You? I'm sorry. You go. What are you doing? I'm here for another hour. And then I eat real quick. My days completely revolves around YouTube and Facebook nonstop. Now I, I wake up in the morning and I shoot like nine YouTube videos. Then I start mapping out. The, then I go pick up my son from school. And then I start mapping out the day for the stream, which is a three hour show every day. And then as soon as that's over, I go eat, hang out with the family for like an hour. And then I come back into here, edit the interviews, whatever interviews for that day. And then I create all my YouTube thumbnails and my notes for the next day watch a movie, do it again every single day. <laughs> so I miss, I miss the, the band life though. I used to be in and out of bands for years and I kind of miss it, but not, not my calling, but I love the fact that it still is your calling. No matter, no matter what project you were in, you're always giving your all, whether it was trances or, or devil or ghosts or Skylar drive. It's just, you're always hustling, always working and you're a down to earth man. Uh, we've, we've, we've interacted before in person He's very huggable, lovable character right here and um, puts on a hell of a show. Jordan, I appreciate you kicking it and stopping by for a little while. Uh, I'm sorry that White, Water Tower wasn't here anymore uh, when you popped in, but it is always a pleasure to chat with you, dude. And uh, All right, brother. I'm sure we'll link up soon. Have fun in Hungary. Have fun in San Diego. Stay safe on the road. Tell the boys I said what's up. All right, I will. Especially tell Brian beer chug attempt again next time I see him, and I'm going to beat him this time. <laughs> All right, I will. Later, Jordan. Thanks, dude. Later. Jordan uh, Blake! Give me a hell yeah!